Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. Today is day 10 of our yoga beam challenge. And we are back on the letter B for balance. And we're going to do another peak pose um, flow. And this peak pose will be eagle pose, also known as Garudasana. And it's a little bit of a challenging balance pose, but there are ways to modify to help you get into it. So we're going to start with poses to help warm us up to getting into Garudasana. So we'll be warming up our hips and our hamstrings and our arms and our shoulders and working on our balance a little bit. And then we'll get up to our peak pose Garudasana and then we'll cool our body down. So let's go ahead and get started in an easy seated position with some breath. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. One more deep inhale through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. Good. Now come back to your natural breath. And then we're going to actually come to lay down on our back. You can just imagine yourself like you're in mountain pose, so almost like you're in a standing position. And let's go ahead and extend our arms overhead. Good. So just bring your body into alignment here. Take an inhale. Exhale. You can rest those arms back down to your sides. Bend your knees and bring them on. Bring them on either side of your mat, so on the edges of your mat. And we're going to start to do some windshield wipers here. So letting our knees fall from one side to the other, to the left and to the right. A couple more times. And we'll bring our feet flat on the ground again. And from here, we will cross our right ankle over our left knee. And then pull the left knee in towards you for figure four upside down pigeon. If it's enough to just rest the ankle on top of the knee without pulling that knee in towards you, you can do that too. Warming up the hips and the hamstrings to prepare us for Garudasana. Inhale, exhale, release the left knee, uncross the ankle, let's cross the left ankle over the right knee. Staying just like this or pull the knee in towards the chest.
inhale, exhale, release, uncross the ankle. Let's bring our knees over the hips, so to a 90 degree angle. And then bring your arms out wide on either side of your body, coming out from your shoulders. And we'll let both knees fall over to the right for a spinal twist, a supine twist, Supta Machandrasana. Inhale, exhale, bring the knees back over the hips, and then let them both fall over to the left, looking up towards the sky or over to the right. Inhale, exhale, let's hug the knees back into the chest, rock side to side, and then we'll make our way up to a seated position. However you get there is fine. I like to grab my ankles and kind of rock myself up to a seat, but whatever you want to do is just fine. We'll bring the bottom of the feet together and come to Baddha Konasana which is bound angle pose. So nice long spine here to start, inhale. Exhale, start to hinge forward. You can let the hands cup the feet. Getting a stretch in the hips here. Inhale, exhale, come to a long spine again. We'll swing those legs around and come to a table position. Tuck the toes under and lift the hips up and back, coming to down dog. Good. You can pedal your feet out here. Remember, you can always rest down on your knees whenever you need a break from your down dog. Press your chest towards your thighs. Press your heels towards the ground. Keep the spine long. When you're ready, bend, bring your gaze up in between your hands. Bend your knees. Step or jump the feet up behind the hands. Bring a deep bend into your knees and grab the elbows. We'll rock side to side for our forward fold, Uttanasana. Good. Let's release the elbows and roll up to standing. Bring those arms with you. Inhale, hands meet. Exhale the hands to heart center and down at your sides, coming to Tadasana. Our mountain pose, palms facing outward, shoulders relaxed, knees are soft. Feeling nice and aligned here in our mountain pose and our Tadasana. When you're ready, sweep the arms up, inhale. Exhale the hands to heart center, and we're going to move into Vriksasana, tree pose. So I'll give you three options. Option one, we're going to get nice and rooted down through our right foot. Option one, 
the heel rests on the ankle, left heel rests on the right ankle. Option two, you can slide it up to your calf. Option three, you can grab it and bring it up to your thigh. Just avoid resting your foot on your knee. We don't want to rest our foot on our knee and push our knee into an awkward position. So whichever one works for you, get near a wall to help you balance if you need to. Hands at heart center. Find your zhishti, also known as your focal point. Find a focal point somewhere to help you balance. Let that left knee be nice and open. Uh, inhale. Exhale, release the foot back down to the ground. Release the hands to your sides. The next we'll move into another balancing pose called Shiva twist. So keep that right foot nice and rooted into the ground. We're going to lift the left knee up. Maybe your left knee comes to a 90 degree angle or maybe it's down a little bit lower. Again, get near a wall if you need to. We'll bring our arms out wide and bend at our elbows, making a cactus shape with our arms. And then we're going to twist towards this bent knee. So twist to the left. Good. Find your zhishti, find your focal point. Good. Inhale. Exhale, release the left foot down. Bring your hands to heart center again. And then relax them down to your sides. Okay, now we're going to move into Garudasana on this side. So our right foot will stay on the floor. Should be a little more open and a little bit more warmed up in your hips and hamstrings. So we'll bend into the knees and then step the left leg over the right leg. So left thigh comes on over the left, left thigh comes over the right thigh. You can let those left toes rest on the ground like this. Or if you can, hook that left foot outside of the right calf. You have to bend in your knees pretty deep. Then from here, we'll extend our right arm forward. Extend your left arm forward, my apologies. Left arm forward, and then let the right elbow come inside of the left elbow. Bend both elbows, back of the hands face each other, or maybe you can bring your hands, palms together. Pull the forearms up and away. Find your focal point, find your zhishti. Keep breathing. Good. It's okay if you're wobbly or if you fall out of it, it's normal. This might be new to a lot of people. Take an inhale, exhale, unravel, extend those arms up, inhale, exhale, lower down for a forward fold. Good. If you want to grab your elbows and rock side to side again, you can. I'm doing a lot of hard work, so take rest as you need to. Listen to your body. Let's roll back up to standing. Arms come with you. Inhale. Exhale. Bring the hands to heart center. Let's get ready for a Vriksasana on the other side. Tree pose on the other side. So bring your left foot nice and rooted into the ground. Option one. Right heel rests on the left ankle. Option two, you slide the foot up to your calf. Option three, you grab it and bring it all the way up to your thigh. Pitch, pick whichever one you like the best, whichever one works best. Remember to get near a wall or something to help you balance if you need to. Try to open that right knee out to the side. Maybe there's a little teeny tiny back bend in your back. Uh, 
a couple more breaths. Inhale. Exhale, release that foot down, arms at your sides. Let's move it to Shiva twist on the other side. Shift your weight into that left foot again. This time your right knee comes up. It may be at a 90 degree angle or your right foot may be lower down. Arms come out wide and then bend at those elbows, making a cactus shape. Elbows in line with the shoulders. And then we'll start to twist to the right side. Find your focal point, find your jishti. It's normal to be wobbly. And even sometimes you're more balanced on one side than the other. Inhale. Exhale, release the foot down, hands to heart center. Bring the hands back down to your sides. Let's reset our body and get ready for Garudasana on the other side. So when you're ready, we'll bend into our knees. This time, cross the right thigh over the left thigh, letting the right toes rest on the ground. Or maybe you can wrap that right foot around the left calf. Good. We'll extend our arms forward. Bring the left elbow inside of the right elbow. Back of the hands face each other or palms face each other. I think I'm a little less balanced on this side. Pull those forearms up and away from you. Find your jishti. A couple more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Unravel. Release the arms. Come back to standing. Sweep the arms up. Inhale. Exhale. Dive down. Uttanasana. Forward fold. Uh, catch your breath here. Doing a lot of hard work. And from here, go ahead and bend your knees, plant your hands on the ground. Step back to a down dog. And then drop the knees down and come to a seated position with the legs out wide. So I'll face this way so you can see me. Flex the toes back towards you. Long spine here. Sweep the arms up, inhale. Exhale, bring the hands straight down in front of you. Keep the spine long to start. And then if you like, maybe you can come down lower, maybe to the forearms, maybe you can lower your chest down towards the mat. And flex, flex those toes back towards you. Getting a stretch in those legs. couple more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Walk the hands back. Bring those legs together. Come to a comfortable seat. Let's extend those arms out wide. Inhale. Exhale. Take the right arm. Bring it inside the left elbow. And then hug that left elbow in towards you. Just doing a shoulder stretch here. Uh, inhale, exhale, release. Let's do the same thing on the other side, arms out wide. Bring the left arm inside the right elbow, hug it in towards you. Mm, 
inhale, exhale, release, come to a comfortable seat. If you like to lay down in Shavasana, you can. Let's take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Deep inhale. And exhale. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Come back to your natural breath again. If you would like to stay here longer, you could turn this video off now. If you're laying down, roll over onto your favorite side. And we'll all take a moment here to reflect on our practice and to extend some gratitude towards ourself for practicing self-care and self-love today. When you're ready, make your way up to a comfortable seat. And together we'll sweep the arms up, inhale, hands meet. Exhale the hands to heart center. Namaste. Okay, guys, thank you for joining me for this balanced Garudasana Eagle Pose practice. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought about this practice. Were you able to get into Garudasana? Did you modify? What did you use to help you get there? Don't forget to check the link in my description box about joining my channel as a member. There's also a link in there to my Shopify where you can buy this shirt if you like this shirt. There's also a link down there to my DJ channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. Peace and love.